You want a map mod for Minecraft? And we're going to show you how to get Journey Map in Minecraft 1.20.4. Not only does Journey Map add a mini map in game, it actually has a full screen map as well. So you'll be able to get the mini map, but you'll be able to see your entire world from a top down view, in my opinion, making it a truly amazing map mod. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below, which will take you to this text guide on getting Journey Map. From here, click on Download Journey Map to go to the official Journey Map download page. On this page, we want to go ahead and select the Files tab here. We then want to find the 1.20.4 Forge version. So we want to find the Forge version of Journey Map here, and then click the three dots next to it and click Download. While this is downloading, how to miss from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down the XYZ slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, mod packs, and change and customize the server any way that you want. Plus, if you've got any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below to break down the XYZ slash SGH to start hosting your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, our download is now complete, and there's one more thing we need to download, and that is Forge. You can find a link in the description down below to here. This is our in-depth guide on getting Forge, including how to troubleshoot and fix any issues you may have when getting Forge. Sadly, we can't go over all of this today, so this is very helpful if you do run into any issues. But once you're here, go ahead and click on the yellow Download Forge button to go to Forge's official download page. On this page, you want to select 1.20 and then 1.20.4 to open up Minecraft 1.20.4 Forge. Once you see 1.20.4 here, come under Download Latest and click on Installer. That then takes off to Add Focus where stop, don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Just put your hands in the air and wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear up here in the top right. Click that red skip button and Forge will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. But first, make sure you've only clicked that red skip button. Once you do that, then Forge will begin downloading. And again, as long as Forge is in the title, which it is Rush, you're good to keep or save it. Nonetheless, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And now let's move Forge to our desktop as well as Journey Map. For me, it's going to be found in my downloads folder. There they are, Forge and Journey Map. And we can move these to our desktop. Now, first things first, we want to focus on this Forge file. So go ahead and right click on it, click on Open With. Click on Java and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Well, if you don't have Java, you need Java 17. Luckily, there's a link in the description down below on how to get this. Obviously, this is for Minecraft mods, and that's why we need it. Covers everything. You may also need to run the jar fix, and what this is going to do is take the jar files like Forge and make them work with Java, but first get Java 17, then run the jar fix. Now, finally, we can open up Forge. Right click on it, click on Open With. Click Java and click OK. That's going to open up the mod system install for Forge, where literally all you've got to do is click Install Client and click OK, and it will begin downloading and installing Forge. The only reason this may not work is if, one, you've never played Minecraft 1.20.4 before. If that's the case, go play it and then come back and install Forge. You also want to make sure that the Minecraft launcher and Minecraft are closed. Otherwise, you may have issues and this may not work. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and click OK because it did work and it's successfully installed, and now we can delete Forge. We don't need it anymore. Now let's install Journey Map. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft Launcher. Then, once the Minecraft Launcher is open, we want to go ahead and launch Minecraft using our Forge installation. How do we do that? Well, we can see it's already selected for me down here. We can just click Forge and click Play and then click Play again. But if you don't have Forge in this dropdown or it's not the 1.20.4 version of Forge, what do we do? Well, go to the Installations tab. Then, on the Installations tab, make sure Modded is checked in the top right. As you can see, if we uncheck Modded, Forge disappears. Check Modded, there it is. Click Play click play again. But if you still don't have Forge here, go ahead and click New Installation. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft mods with your friends. Then click the version drop-down box here. We do want to select release 1.20.4-Forge from this drop-down. For me, it's right at the top, but you may need to scroll a ways to find yours. Then go ahead and set our resolution. You don't have to. I'm just doing that so you can see better once we get in game and click Create. Now we want to go ahead and launch up Minecraft using our Forge installation, either the one that was there by default or the one we created. Click play, click play again, and now Minecraft's going to open up with Forge 1.20.4 installed. That's the hard part. Now it's super easy to install Journey Map. And once we're on the main menu, all you've got to do is click on Mods and then click Open Mods Folder. Again, that was pretty fast. So from the main menu, click Mods and then Open Mods Folder. That will open our Mods Folder. Just take Journey Map from your desktop and drag and drop it into this Mods Folder. 
it's now installed, but it's not going to work in game. To get it to work in game, we've got to click done, and then we've got to quit Minecraft. We then want to reopen Minecraft again, this time also using our Forge installation. Every time you add a new mod to Minecraft, you've got to restart it and launch it again with Forge for the mod to activate, so that's all we're doing here. Our Forge installation is selected, and we can go ahead and click play and click play again to launch Minecraft up with Forge, and now Journey Map will be in the mods menu and obviously in game as well. So here we are in Minecraft, and we go ahead and click on mods we can see journey map is right there and of course we can join a multiplayer server on simplegamehosting.com because you can use journey map on any minecraft server even if the mod's not on the server it's really cool it still saves everything locally about the server so you can even use this on stuff like hypixel but that may break their rules but obviously it's a hundred percent okay to use it on a server that you own like one from simple game hosting this is my personal server so i can do literally anything i want now once we're in game here what we want to do is just press j and then close and this is the full screen map you can zoom in you can zoom out you can change tons of different settings down here in the options button things with your mini map with the full screen map so much can be changed and, and just you know set to however you want it we can also see the mini map up here in the top right you can zoom that in tons of stuff can be changed and customized about journey map but yeah this is the uh world that uh, kind of i set up a few weeks ago just for some testing and uh well guess what we can now see it with journey map you also have journey map installed so if you've got any questions let us know in the comment section down below be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible minecraft content every single day of the week we'll see you in the next one peace